A, 65. <laughs> G, 111. C, 21. Is there any rationality to this number system? <laughs> well, I think... Please don't explain it to me. <laughs> I'd rather just be angry at the system. <laughs> <laughs> What's your number? Z365. Really? I'm Z368. Z4. <laughs> Are you kidding? Is there any rhyme or reason to it? Well, I was going to say that the letter has to do with why we're here and the number has to do Okay. Okay. I get it. We're gonna be here a while. <laughs> yeah, but if I'm right, then we're here for the same reason. I guess. Well, are you trying to uh, claim your anchor? No. I mean, yes. <coughs> Maybe. I don't want to, so I want to say no. <laughs> but I don't want to let it just disappear. So that's a... Uh... Yes! It's a yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to claim my one acre of public land from the federal government. But they shouldn't be allowed to give it away. It belongs to all of us. Well, um, I mean, the new policy is use it or lose it. But we used to own all of it. Every national park, forest, and seashore belonged to all of us. They were just the caretakers. Welcome to the U.S. government, brought to you by Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right? <laughs> Jim. Jim Gertis. Hades McGee. Um, Hades? Please don't say anything about it. <laughs> Do you have any hopes? <laughs> well, I used to want to be an international assassin. <laughs> uh, actually, I meant about what Hager you get. Oh. Well, something close to home will be nice, I suppose. I have a very demanding job. I love the Mets. And I'm the guy who runs the scoreboard at City Field. Really? No. <laughs> I was. Now robots took my job. How about you? I used to be a homeowner, but now robots are my home. <laughs> Stupid robots. I hate 2049. But I meant for what it could be like. Well, I've never set foot west of the Mississippi, so something with mountains would be nice. Or geysers. Geysers? That's a good idea. Sounds pretty. Plus, no more about the mountains, buddy. Do you still wish you were an international assassin? Who said I'm not? <laughs> I used to, <coughs> to want to be a supervillain, but now I just want to place him in my family. You know? <laughs> Stupid robots. Z five. Z five. Z five. It's never gonna call our numbers. Z numbers. Z numbers. Ooh, we have Z numbers. Let me see, please. Are you letting us cut to the front of the line? Oh no. But due to the bureaucratic delay. You're going to be asked to make a choice on how you'd like to proceed. Will it get us out of here? <laughs> oh, yes. We'll take it. Wait, what is it? Does it matter? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> take these slips of paper to door number 832. They'll instruct you on how to proceed. <laughs> See numbers? <laughs> See numbers? <laughs> I hope we don't break this. 
Are you kidding? You'll be dipping your toes in your brand new hot spring west in the Mississippi in no time. Let's go! Bastards have done to the government. Me too. Hey, wait, I think this is it. Welcome to the Department of Interior Warehouse Division, Paramus, New Jersey. <laughs> New Jersey! <laughs> <laughs> How big is this place? Uh, here you'll find all of America replicated in miniature. Select, find, uh, select your acre and sit on it. Someone will be along trolley to record your answer. This is nuts! <laughs> You're telling me? Does it look like there's only two plots left for us to choose from? Depending on how long it's taking you to get here, selection may be limited. I guess this is all that's left. In the warehouse? <laughs> in all of America. <laughs> No way. Well, this one's called Hot Creek Valley, Nevada. Sounds promising. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? It's mostly flat desert. It's got a view of the mountains, but I don't really see any water. Hot or otherwise, what have you got? This one's called Cottonwood 4-5, California. Awesome. And? It's a perfect mountain lake. It's okay. Okay? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of high up. What are you going to do in the winter? I haven't really thought about that. <laughs> Look, Jim. <laughs> I'm not going to live here full time. You need a place you can live permanently. Why don't you take Nevada and I'll take this lake? <laughs> that I'm only going to be able to use for a few months in the summer. I don't know. You haven't even seen it. You should check it out, at least. I don't, uh, well, okay, but, uh, Hot Creek Valley seems like more kind of year to play Hades. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Department of, Property Department of Energy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Sounds like you're gonna have to worry about setting up electricity, even. You know what? I'm good. I'm going to take the mountain lake. Why are you sitting down? I'll take this one. You take that one. You stole my perfect mountain lake? No. I gave you a desert paradise. <laughs> Department of Energy, this is an old atomic bomb test site. Oh, yeah. It's all yours now. No, you picked it first. You're standing on it now. Oh my god, you're such a bum. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm a bum with a beautiful mountain lake. <laughs> Get up, Hades. You're getting your blood all over my lake. You know, Jim, it's going to be summer before you know it. Either work on building some shelter, or you're going to fly. I thought you'd know something like that. Being a former homeowner. Land uh. <laughs> for sale, <laughs> jobs for sale, it's, it's all for sale. I use 
used to have a job that I was really good at. It was more than keeping score, it was rooting for the Mets. <laughs> Robots replaced me, tore up my on-field pass. So the thing that I have learned, keep your eyes on your assets. <laughs> because it's land for sale. What's all for sale? What can we do? You gotta be a man. Take your fate in your hand. You gotta get what you can, or you're gonna get screwed. I used to have a home provided for my family, but robots bought us out. Keep us as tenants for the place of our own, far away from this breed. I fight to change the laws, get elected to the Senate. <laughs> Wait, change the laws. That's so much better than trying to steal from each other. Too bad we're both dead broke. But wait! <laughs> you've got a story and all kinds of passion. And you've got charisma, you know. 